Now, tension is the tendency to stretch material, to pull it apart, the opposite to compression. Nature has given us some marvellous examples of tension in structures. The spider's web is perhaps the best known. It's pure tension. As for man-made examples, well, look at this rope bridge. It's a simple form of the suspension bridge. There may well be examples of bridges in tension in your own area. Here's a building that uses tension, the West Coast Transmission Building in Vancouver. The floors actually hang from the cables, which themselves hang from the elevator and stair tower. Let me demonstrate how tension and compression can work to achieve the same result, namely to keep a structure up. I've taken this ball and I've supported it by hanging it from a piece of string. That's tension. But I could also take it and put a prop of some sort underneath. That's compression. Now it's easy to see that by hanging the ball we can get a structure that is much lighter. And that can be very important. Remember, the dead load, that is the weight of the structure itself, can be the most significant load. And usually we want to make that as light as possible. So in general, it's almost always better to use a structure in tension because that will always result in a structure that weighs the least. But there is a penalty to pay. You don't get something for nothing. A structure in tension is not as stable. <laughs> it will blow about in the wind much more easily, for instance, <laughs> than a structure in compression. <laughs> so a structure in tension is affected by live loads in a much more demonstrable way. You see, you can blow the spider's web and it moves. A blade of grass can bend in the wind, and when the wind stops, it comes up straight again. But we don't want our buildings to do that. That's a bit hairy. And although they do sway, of course, within limits, we don't want this movement to exceed the point of safety or even discomfort. Remarkably, the CN Tower in Toronto, the tallest freestanding structure in the world, will sway three feet, nearly a metre in a hurricane, perfectly safely. So compression is 